Hey guys, what is up? This is Symmetry HD, and in today's Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Grebler plugin. Um, I downloaded this plugin last night, and it's a pretty cool plugin. It's kind of like Thrasian, it's kind of like Nitro Blaster, except it adds a different, it adds vector shapes to your um, your Motex in Cinema 4D. It's a pretty cool effect for using back, uh, you know, YouTube backgrounds, or just you know, adding some cool effects to, uh, you know, your um, uh, Motex. But anyways, I already have like a sample here. And uh, pretty much we're going to be creating this effect. We're going to have like these little vector shapes uh, popping out of the text. And, you know, it's kind of like Thrasy, except it doesn't have, it doesn't crack the text like Thrasy does. But anyways, let's start. Um, we're just going to delete our text and our materials. And uh, what we want to do is we're just uh, going to set up back to normal. Let me just get out of view. And what we want to do is we want to go to MoText, and we want to go to, I mean, MoGraph and MoText. And what we want to do is we want to go and drag our text back. We're going to go into third-person view to get a better idea of where our text is, and get it in the light a little bit, like so. And uh, what we want to do is we want to go to Object, and we're just going to make this all caps text. And what we want to do is we want to go, uh, going to add a nice text um like so, and we're gonna change this to actually we're gonna change this to obey like like I uh, did before, but we're actually gonna change this to obey. Um, uh, da, 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 bold. We're gonna use like that, like so. And uh, what we wanna do is we wanna bring up the depth to 95. And what we also wanna do is we wanna put our caps on the end and start of our text and we're going to bring it down to two and we're going to bring up the steps to three like so and uh what we want to do now is we're just going to create a new material real oh wow um whoops <laughs> whoopsie my mistake um anyways what we want to do is we want to hit control c control v and that's going to create us a new text we're just going to main text main one we're going to call this main two and what we want to do is we're going to hit control n make a new material and we're going to double click and we're going to right click on our uh, sphere and we're going to make a um, rounded cube gi and we want to we're going to load in a material it's going we're going to make like a rock a rocky texture my mistake and uh, we're going to uh, this one looks pretty good um, and we're going to add some reflection, but not much. We're going to add like 2% reflection, add some for now, do the same thing, add like 3%, just a little bit more than our normal reflection. Uh, and we're just going to drag that onto our main text number one. Um, we're actually going to bring the, the caps up on our front because we want it to be above our main text. And now we're going to actually control C, uh, I mean, hey, control N to make a new material again, and we're going to make a luminance material. We're going to make this kind of like a light bright orange, like so. We're going to right click on our, mater on our material again. We're going to go to Sphere GI. And uh, what we want to do is we want to go to Luminance, and we're going to make this orange so we have an orange luminance color, like so. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And we're going to actually add some glow. I'm just going to put like 20 and... Uh, 20. Yeah, that'll look good. And uh, we're going to drag that onto our main, on onto our bottom text. Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now once you actually finally have that all done, what you want to do is we want to select both our text, and we want to go over here to our plugins tab, and we want to go to Grebler and hit Grebler. As you can see, when we hit Grebler, um, the Grebler um, plugin shows up. What we want to do is we want to grab both our childs of our Motex and we want to make that child of our Grebler. And as you can see, once we do that, um, it adds some, you know, it, you can see the Grebler effect at, at its, uh, you know, working. It's pretty cool. You can see how it uh, extrudes our, um, extrudes the um, vector shapes. But if you don't want the vector shapes in there, what you want to do is you want to go over here to Grebler. And we want when you're in the Grebler uh, tab, you want to go to Custom Grebblers, and um, yeah, and you want to go to uh, or sorry, my mistake, Stock Grebbles, and you want to uncheck Generate Grebbles. But you know what? I'm gonna keep it on because you know it looks pretty cool. 
And uh, one thing I forgot to do is we want to go back to our text and, and want make sure we're in our caps tab. And we want to go down here to type. Right now it's on angons. And we want to change that to triangles. Um, we want to put our grid on and we're going to bring, um, as you can see, it's uh, it extrudes our text. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then we're going to do the same thing with um, our front black main text. And we're going to go to triangles as well. And we're going to bring up the regular grid. Uh, we're going to bring it down. Yeah, we're going to bring it down. You know, you can just mess around with it whatever way you want. Um, that's looking pretty good. And we're going to go back into our Grebler tab. And we're actually going to change our seed of our Grebler. Um, we're going to change the seed. Because uh, as you can see, it changes the seed that we have. And it, as, as we change the seed... Um, it adds um, shapes and stuff. You know, it's random. Let's see how that looks. And uh, that's you know, a little bit too much. Let's uh, let's bring that let's bring that down to zero. Um, yeah, that's looking uh pretty cool. And you know what? That's pretty much the end of this tutorial. I, like I said, this was a quick tutorial, and I just wanted to teach you guys how to use it. Um, but that's pretty much it. You know, if you guys need any help. Or any answers or something I didn't go over in this full uh, Grebler tutorial, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me if there's anything you want me to tell you if I missed anything or um, something like that. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below also if uh, you want a specific tutorial you want me to do, whether it's in After Effects, Photoshop, or even Cinema 4D. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a like. Let's try to get this video up to 15 likes. That'd be great. Um, also, um, follow me on Twitter at SymmetryHD. Click on one of the other annotations to go watch one of my other video games. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Let's go! One of the hottest in my state, I ain't saying it, it's a fact. Uh -huh. Marvin Divine or 